I had to say Intel, these specs look pretty dang impressive. So hello my name is Jay and today I'm going to be talking about the new Intel i9-9900K. Now I'll be making a separate video for the 9700K which will be a whole separate processor. And I'll be making that maybe in a week or so. Um, but basically October 9th is when we're expecting to have all the big releases for all this stuff. So I'm trying to get these kind of leaks out, um, some of the information we've got um, out and to the, make videos about them of course. So today we're going to be talking about these processors and I've got a list of all the specs because I want to make sure. So first off, you want to know my source of these leaks is from Silicon Lottery. It's an online web store. They sell like processors and stuff and they accidentally posted some stuff they shouldn't have, some details, like posted the processors for sale or pre-order and they're not even out yet. So that's usually when we get the good stuff is someone makes a good mistake like that and we actually get all the specs. And these specs are pretty dang impressive if they are true, which says it's this close to release and usually when the companies themselves put out specs, it's usually pretty dang accurate. So let's take a look at some of these specs, shall we? So first off, as you know, this processor is going to be an i9 dubbed 8 core 16 thread processor, but where you're going to really get surprised is some of the specs, like clock counts and things like that. So it's a Coffee Lake refresh. That means that we are still stuck at 14 nanometers. It's 14 nanometer plus, 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 whatever plus we're on. And it's a Coffee Lake refresh, so you're still using the Coffee Lake architecture. Now what they improved on, of course, is by adding more cores and you, that. And um, it's got a max boost for single and dual core to 5 gigahertz. And that's out of the box. So let's take a moment. Let's take a moment, guys. Let's take a moment. Let's think about it. If you got 5 gigahertz out of the box, how good is this thing going to be at overclocking? That's, just, that's all I want to know. If we got 5 gigahertz out of the box... Like we saw with the 8700K, you know, 4.7 gigahertz, and we can overclock that up to like 5.2. If we can just get somewhere close to that, we're looking at 5.5 gigahertz turbo for some nice games. I mean, I'm really, really, really looking. If it follows the same thing, obviously it's multiple cores, so I would expect maybe something down to like 5.3 gigahertz if you're lucky on a good chip. But I think that's a really, really, really good option. I'm really excited to see that. So let's talk about some of the other specs. It's got 4.8 gigahertz on quad core gaming and a quad core turbo. So it's 4.8 gigahertz out of the box on four cores and then 4.7 gigahertz on all cores and threads. Let's take a moment. They managed to keep, they literally managed to take the 8700K, put its single core turbo and turn that into the all core turbo for the 9900K. Wow, pretty dang impressive, right? So, as you know, it's an i9 classification. It's got 16 megabytes of L3 cache, which is kind of a megabyte per every core, which kind of makes sense. Um, it's got the... I know everybody that's watching this video is going to care tremendously about the graphics that it has, because it's got this Intel UHD 620 integrated graphics. Oh my gosh, guys. I know everyone's here for that. Um, and then it's all packed in to a 95-watt package. And that means it's going to need some pretty dang impressive cooling, but also that's also an impressive feature on its own. So I'm interested to see how all well that performs and stuff. And now you're probably wanting to know the price on this sucker because at least from what this one website has listed it as, it's not going to be cheap. A, a really premium price of $480 MSRP, which will be interesting to see. Because, you know, I remember when the Ryzen 1800X came out, so I, I bought this one for $500 back at the time, because I really needed a good video editing processor. And now, now that's pretty cheap. But this is something that AMD, AMD's kind of perfected the 8-core, 16-thread option. And now we've got Intel coming along with kind of just under the price where they did the premium for the 1800X. And, you know, well, yes, there is a huge, tremendous increase and the amount of cores and processing power and speed, it definitely by far is the all-time best gaming processor out of the box. We'll have to see how it overclocks, but out of the box for video editing now, for anybody that can afford it, that's practically the number one processor. Now we've got coupled with these new 20 series GPUs that will be coming out, and that will be a pretty dang impressive thing for VR or any of those other games. I mean, when, when are they going to get that VR ray tracing? I really want to see that. That'd be really cool. But now we've got these new chips coming out, and... That's a pretty hefty MSRP, especially because, you know, we'll be talking about the next, or the other chip, the 9700K, which has come in a little bit around $380, but it's still kind of a hefty price to pay. 
And while, yes, there's a lot of questions raised now, like why are we putting like a super high-end chip, uh, a mediocre i9 or i7 where they didn't have hyper-threading on, I wish they had done that. It's not that difficult to do. And then we've got this new i6s or what, or not i6s, sorry, i5s with six cores. Sorry, that's what got me mixed up there. And we've got these new i5s coming out and then we've got the whole kind of lineup there. Just, it really does seem like, you know, the i7 was supposed to be the top tier gaming processor and the i5 was the best kind of the, just for the sole gamer. If you end the i7 is kind of like for the streamer. But now we're kind of making the i9 the ideal streaming processor and the i7 a required gaming processor and the i6, or the i5 is, eh, questionable. So, it just feels like there's a lot more spread out and I don't, I mean, I don't know what the market's going to apply for for the people that are going for the 8 core 16 thread because, you know, if someone's going to go for gaming, obviously there's going to be the people that go all out, but I feel like the i7 is a much, I mean, with the 8 solid cores and no hyper threading, it's still going to be a pretty dang impressive processor and I definitely will bet it will overclock higher. So I think the gamers are still going to go for the i7. It just makes me wonder who's going to go for this higher up tier. I mean, the streamers, without a doubt, anybody the streamer recording, um, for me, obviously, I'm not really recording my games or streaming any of my games. I do, of course, do streaming, but not any of the games. And so it really does raise the question, who's going to go for that processor? Because I don't see a lot of people buying it. I mean, yes, there's the people that want to blow a lot of money on a nice gaming computer and then start streaming, which I, I, I got to say is a bad idea altogether, but that's not my place to make my opinions and judgments apparent on YouTube. But I just feel like there's not enough market for that. And I'm really going to see how interested to see how Intel continues this i9 lineup on the original socket um, or their consumer grade socket. So it's going to be interesting to see if they follow that. Also, since you know we're coming on the topic of computer building and streaming PCs and recording, right here I've got a PC that I'm building this upcoming Friday. It'll be around 5 p.m. And this is a PC that we're building. It's a professional sh recording PC, and this is a PC that's kind of dedicated to being able to play games and record at the same time. And it comes in right around $900, and I'll be recording it with a friend from school. Uh, actually, this is his piece that PC I get to build. Love doing that, and it's also part of my free build project where I build PCs for free. They just kind of pay for the parts, and I help them along, teach them how to do that. So that's going to be something to be interested. If you're interested, tune in for that. And, of course, check out the other video that I'm going to be doing where I talk about the new uh, 9700K, which is kind of the gaming, ideal gaming processor. We'll have to, of course, see when it comes out, how well it overclocks. But I have a feeling with the more, with the just cores and no th hyper threads, I think I have a feeling it will overclock a little bit better than the 16 core or 16 thread alternative. But um, that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, subscribe if you enjoyed. And of course, check out the channel for other cool tech related videos. Um, this one will be coming out soon. I'll be doing a stream and then, of course, the final you know, summary video. And uh, yeah, check that out if you're interested. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.